G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to part 7 of my storage build for my hiking and camping gear. Finished the counter off earlier today. I might put a couple of supports underneath to level it, but all in all, this part's done. So today's going to be the first time I've actually used this to make videos. And hopefully it'll be a lot easier for you to see what I'm doing. Now I've done a little bit more since yesterday. So I'll get the camera and I'll show you what I've got done. I made a couple of little tweaks, let's say. Give it a bit of wood. First thing I did today was this third panel. I took that one off and I replaced it with a different one because this is the one I cut down and I just wasn't happy with the way it looked. So I didn't waste that. I actually used that for other things I've been doing. It's left this nice and uneven and what I'm thinking is just doing a light sand on that just to smooth it off a bit and the same on the corner here for when walking around but I just like that where it's just not butting and it just shows all the different wood we've got uh, it, like I said it's nothing fancy nothing plain another thing I got done today was this piece and if you saw the last video there's this all this piece all the way down was spaced out because I wanted this here to overlap I've got the vacuum there to clean up so I can uh, make more mess and I also got this panel in done here and it just makes it look nicer and then on this side to hide the actual uh, <laughs> my brain turned off the wood on the inside I've put this down it just looks nice brought it all the way ac across structural pine that's it which is hiding behind here and it just didn't look nice to me I've done the same here and the same all the way at the bottom so this one is going to be a, a drop down door so instead of it open sideways because it's so long I'm just going to put hinges at the bottom so when I get in I can just drop it down, get what I want out and lift it back up and I've got a couple of the little bolts to lock into there. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. Now I'm in two minds over to have it drop down or lift up but I'm thinking the drop down is probably going to be the easiest because I'm still going to drag stuff out. And I'm just going to make sure I don't put too much weight on the door when I'm getting things in and out of there. I've done the same on this end so that just looks to me it looks nice and strong now and it matches in with everything else a bit of a mess in there but that will all get sorted soon I said on the uh, last video I've still got the shoe racks and everything to do in there still got to do this um, shelving now these I'm thinking about taking these out because even with the shorter ones they hang low I'm just looking for some small hooks where I can still hang this over the packs aren't going to be heavy because they're all going to be empty packs in here the packs that have got gear in are going down there I don't know if the camera's allowing us to see it with the light behind it so these are going to be the main heavy packs so yeah this is what I'm getting doing done today is this panel across here the same as that one with the soundproofing behind and it's going to be the first time I've used the counter with the camera to make a video We're going to need we've got the soundproofing up there, so I'll grab some of them down. May need another one. 
Now, this has worked out just nice. It wasn't planned. But when I put these shelves up, and then put the uh, shelf on here, it worked out, in the end, the same depth as the width of this. So, perfect for that. All, that, all I'm going to need now is to measure the wall there. I know it's going to be five uh, slats going down, p uh, panels of wood. And I've got three pieces of wood to come down, which will be holding it just away from the wall and allowing the soundproofing to sit on the back of the panels. So I'll clear that. I'll measure it all up, cut the five pieces of wood, bring them in here, bring these three pieces in, and I'll show you how I do it. I've got the three cut three pieces of battens that are going to be on the wall holding the wood away. That's the left hand one. And that's the centre one. And these are the three battens which are going to be holding is soundproofing away and the actual panel is going to screw onto here and let me show you this this is the oh, hold on place you can see there's what's that about a seven or eight mil gap so when that's on the actual back there's going to be a gap behind it so that's going to be on the back of the panels that are going on here so measure up for the wood Bottom on. one seven six five. Oh, I've taken it out. So one. All right, let's measure the first piece of soundproofing. That way. Are you going to be lucky or not? What do you think? No, not lucky. Well done, is. Set square, put it in, and now it's going to measure from here to here. Stick some soundproofing on it, do the same on this side, squeeze it in, and I'll just screw it in. And then each one I'll just take the measurements and do that one at a time. Now this stuff I got from the local hardware called Bunnings here in Australia and oh, I'll get it in the next one down I'll tell you what it's doing, I'll get it now. The name is Pomoaday and it's a foam roll self adhesive uh, polyethylene, uh, 1.8 metre roll. 10 millimetres deep by 
there. one on it will just squash that down so it should be a nice tight join to it. Let's see if I've got knob piece to fit there. They'll come in useful the little bits. Right. Not quite. But we'll, we'll cut down to fit. First one done. Let's get it in place. Now I'll put a couple of screws in either point. One, two, three, six screws in now. And I'll do the same with the rest, and I'll bring you back when I get there. Got it done. That's a pain. The, the other one, the large one, I was able to build the frame, do it all on the floor, soundproof it, lift it up, put it in place, done. This one, because of having the trim down there, the, the trim here, the power point, it prevented me from doing that. I was going to take this one out. So I could put it in a sideways angle, but the PowerPoint stopped me doing that. So we've done one, two, three, four, five sections, all slightly different sizes. Top one had to be trimmed throughout the whole top. I need to sand that there. So I'm just looking, I need to sand that. The top one needed to be trimmed at the top to make it fit because it's not as wide as these. But it looks good. And just standing here, you can hear the differences, very little echo coming off the wood. Oh, before if I stood here, there was a load of echo coming off the actual bare wall. And these sound absorbers help big time. They are, they don't stop sound. They're actual sound absorbers, so it actually draws the sound into them, but stops the echo. So, yeah, if you put them on the wall, the sound will still come through. <laughs> They're good, I like them. So this is, it started off as really the um, storage and shelving for my hiking and camping gear and it's evolved now more into my actual YouTube studio also. Now I've got to go, I went and they never had any of the actual little bolts in there, the actual locks, door locks, which I want. So. I can't continue making the doors yet or the drop down door for the counter here or the drop down doors. Uh, actually I might, to be honest, I've just thought of something. I might have that as a lift up and if I have that bottom one down here lift up, I can actually have a latch on the inside and a bolt here to bolt it and hold it in place. So just stood here thinking about that. I think that will work. I'm going to have to, oh, because I'm using this 17mm by 150, which will be, be 17mm by 130 by uh, 
2.2 meters in length and then I'm going to have to have some uh, reinforcement on the back of that door I'm going to need about what four maybe five hinges to small ones to match the ones I'm using down here so it all looks uh, universal all the same uh, yeah a short video I was hoping to make it a bit longer but that just took so much time uh, what I did do is some little off cuts here I don't know if you can see them uh, that's where I trimmed them off a panel similar to this and they allow me to use it to just nail into the side here to hold this in place so the whole idea of doing it this way is I know the main frames are bolted to the wall but want as little as possible being bolted to the wall so if I can get away without it being bolted to the wall that's the way I'm going to do it it might take a little bit more effort and but when it comes to if I ever have to rip all this out I want to be able to go around and just bog the holes up, sand them back, um, seal, primer, undercoat and paint and that's it done. I don't want to have hundreds and hundreds of holes everywhere and possibility of cracks and that. So that's actually that actually looks nice finishing that off like that there. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you're not a subscriber please go down below click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much